You know those moments when you are just so excited about something and you can't wait to share it with others? What do you do? Text it? Post something on social media? Email? Maybe record a video? Call someone on the phone? Is that still a thing? Each of these represents some form of communication. They're all a bit different, but what they have in common is that they can be used to share your ideas with other people. And if you get a text back or a comment on your post and they understood your message, that is a part of communication too. When you're sharing and connecting with others and having this kind of exchange, you're communicating effectively and effective communication is really important in school, work, and life. Time to find out how. I'm Andrea Pisani, and I work with students every day to help them explore their passions and make great futures for themselves. Communication is the way we use verbal and nonverbal methods to express thoughts, feelings, and beliefs to another person. We connect with others through communication, and we can do so verbally through reading, writing, speaking, and listening, or nonverbally through visual and physical messages. More often, we use some combination of verbal and nonverbal communication to get our message across. And that's really the key, right? To get our message across so that it's understood by the audience. Sometimes the message we need to communicate is related to a school assignment. Maybe you're collaborating on a project or delivering a presentation. Or maybe at work you have an idea to pitch to your boss. How about that raise? In fact, communication is essential in the workforce. Effective communication creates clear expectations, promotes understanding, ensures accuracy in tasks, minimizes misunderstandings, builds trust among team members, and helps create a positive working environment. In the transportation industry, the need for effective communication skills is clear, and in some cases can be a matter of life or death. For instance, flight crews must use clear and concise communication to coordinate with air traffic control and passengers during flights. If these teams don't communicate well, many people can be harmed. Train conductors use effective communication to provide updates and instructions to passengers during trips. Truck drivers use effective communication to coordinate with dispatchers, receive delivery instructions, and report any incidents or issues on the road. Port workers use clear communication to coordinate loading and unloading of ships. In transportation and in every industry, Effective communication is an important ingredient in the recipe for success. So what can you do now to practice your communication skills? When you're talking to someone, listen. Developing good communication skills not only means being able to effectively share your thoughts and feelings, it also includes listening closely when other people are expressing their thoughts and feelings. Practice active listening by making a sincere effort to focus on what someone else has to say instead of talking over them, or cutting them off with your own ideas before they finish theirs. At any given moment, there are a ton of things vying for our attention. So be clear when you communicate, or your message might get lost. Career expert Melody Wilding has a great tip for getting your message through clearly, especially if you think the person you're talking to might be a little distracted. The advice is complete the sentence. Think about the main message you want to communicate and boil it down to one sentence. You can say something like, if you walk away from this conversation with one thing, I want it to be, insert your main message right here. This is a great way to call attention to the thing you want them to remember. Pay attention to the conversations that happen around you. What are others doing well or not so well? Being aware of how others communicate effectively or poorly can help shape the way that you express yourself in similar situations in the future. Whether you're communicating to one person or a large group, the best way to develop this skill is to practice. As you go about your day, try and identify all of the ways you are using your communication skills and what you can do to improve them. To learn more about 21st century skills, be sure to visit our website, myfutureofwork.org. There you'll find a whole series of videos taking a deeper look at the skills you'll need for the 21st century.